He rode easy in the saddle, he was tall and lean. <laughs> community I'm back again to do a contest response uh, and this is for Will the Vinyl Potato. Um, Will the Vinyl Potato and I I think we started our channels probably around the same time I think he, he did his he started his videos a little bit earlier than me uh, but I have been following since I started and uh, if there is a go-to guy for punk music uh, Will is definitely the guy um, I, you know, I have very diverse tastes, so I watch a lot of different channels, but I've been watching, again, I've been watching Will for a very long time. Uh, his video, or at least his contest, and again, Will, you don't have to enter me into it. I, I'm just having to do a response for you. Uh, he wanted us to show uh, trios, uh, at least bands, favorite bands that are a trio. Uh, for me, this is a difficult one. And I just grab uh, a gambit of uh, artists from different genres. For me, it's hard to pick out trios. I mean, you picked out Green Day's Insomniac, and I love that album. I think that's, my opinion, that's my favorite Green Day album. Uh, but I actually chose a hip-hop album to show first, uh, back from the early days of hip-hop. And, uh, you know, I like rap music from the 80s. Uh, it was very controversial when it first started coming out. And when I grabbed this record, it was a it was a tie. I mean, I like these guys as much as the Beastie Boys, but, you know, I had to show Run DMC. And this is Raising Hell. Uh, I was introduced to these guys through The King of Rock, uh, which was the album that preceded this. Um, I remember playing it at my grandparents' house, and my grandfather didn't care for it too much, but um, yeah, Raising Hell was probably their best known album, uh, predominantly for Walk This Way with Run DMC, so one of those great hip hop trios. Uh, next up, again, I grabbed a jazz album. Uh, jazz, it gets to be difficult because a lot of artists, you know, when they had a quintet, sometimes they'd play with a trio, sometimes it was a quartet, so you have artists that you know were doing different things at different times and very rarely did you have a trio um, that really stuck it out and even if it was a trio the the lineups would change um, so again it was hard to pick so I just grabbed something off my shelf and this is Wes Montgomery and the Montgomery brothers of course you got Wes Montgomery the guitarist and his two brothers now when he uh, really started to take off. I mean, you know, he went in, diff in different directions, but I really liked him when he was playing with his brothers. Uh, this is Grooveyard. Uh, this is an original on Riverside. Now, if you haven't heard of Wes Montgomery, uh, when he got tied with Verve, I mean, he was doing some remakes of some rock songs, but, you know, uh, he's basically a self-taught guitarist, and, you know, uh, he is just one of the big jazz guitarists that came out of the 60s. So, um, if you can, puck up, uh, you know, his work with his two brothers. Uh, I, I definitely think it's worth sampling. Now, the last one, again, Rock. Rock is... Rock has a lot of great trios. I mean, Rush, you got Cream. Um, I had to go with The Police and Ghost in the Machine. Now, uh, the police were fairly short-lived, uh, so to speak, um, but I have uh, a fond association with this album. Uh, Dead Wax 66 has um, a contest going, 10 albums you couldn't live with that, without or you wouldn't get rid of. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the time to really put one of those together, but you know, if I did, this album would definitely be on the list uh, because of my uh, my memories associated with this album. This is by far my favorite Police album. Uh, you know, I like most of the songs on this. There are a couple that I think are 
uh, filler material, but for the most part, this is a really solid album. And you know, these guys uh, are uh, one of my favorite rock trios for sure. So uh, there you have it. Well, that's my entry into your contest. Um, congrats on the subs, and I hope you get a lot more in the months and years to come. Thank you for watching.